March is Women's History Month. Two women-owned companies in Oregon are looking to make a difference this month and throughout the year. K2's Nikki Torres shares their story. We usually have a why when it comes to striving for excellence and pushing for change. For one Oregon winemaker, her why is her daughter. As a winery, we are tied to our land, our seasons, and our community, and it's our responsibility to leave them all in a better place for my daughter's generation. Jessica Mozico started her wine business, AFI, with her father. AFI translates to and daughter in English. Now she's cultivating a future for her daughter. It's important to honor and recognize um, women business owners so that we see more of them and that we can use our own dollars to support the businesses that we want to. Mozico says this month in honor of women and every month, a fee is looking to support other female-led businesses. Of our 10 distributors, eight are managed and owned by either a woman or a person of color. On the coast, Kelly Howard shares the same sentiment for female-powered organizations, running her own glass art shop for 17 years. A lot fewer women-run glass studios out there. I would say it's predominantly run by men. <laughs> she wanted to change that. Now in 2022, more than half her staff are female, and she says it's paid off. The level of care and concern and, um, you know, willingness to really give 100% from women is just so inspiring. Both entrepreneurs hope others will keep the forward motion going for more women, like Mozico's daughter. What I will say is that my daughter is the inspiration of what I'm trying to build with the business and why we're focused on the future. We're focused and committed to sustainable winemaking, community, and diversity and equity. And that's really important to leave the winery and our community in a better place for my daughter's generation. Reporting for K2 News, I'm Nikki Torres. So